As sinking ships, nothing like going into Gary's mod and going into a map and watching the ship you oh so love sink into the bottom of the ocean. Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 sinking ships. When I say 10, by the way, I mean these are literally all of the sinking ship maps in Gary's mod. I could only find 10. We're going to start this off with number 10. And that is going to be the Mayonnaise ship. Definitely pretty basic, as you can see, but there's some pretty nice features on this ship. Like having lifeboats that you can deploy just in case, oh, I don't know, your ship sinks. And there is some pretty decent areas to explore, like a big cargo area at the bottom of the ship, as well as a small building that you can lock yourself in for some reason. However, to start the sinking process, simply go into the engine room or the cargo room, it's pretty much the same thing, and crank on that wheel. Eventually, you will start to see the ship is, well, sinking. Now the reason why this is number 10 is because there's not a whole lot of areas to explore on the ship. It's pretty basic and the sinking function, well, let's just say throughout this video you're going to find there's two different ways a ship can sink. The water can come up, which makes no sense, or the ship can go down like you'd expect. In this case, the water is just simply going up. However, the funny thing is, once the ship does sink, <laughs> a goddamn tornado comes out of nowhere. And that tornado then starts to pick up all the props that have floated to the top, you included. So you might have thought, oh, hey, I have a lifeboat. I'm, I'm good. No, there's a tornado. And it just goes around the map and you eventually are going to get thrown around and tossed like a salad. All in all, a really cool basic ship and that's why it's number 10. Next up at number 9, we have the RMS Majesty. And this is a ship that is... Heavily inspired by Acid Ship, this one looks to be based on the Royal Pilgrim, which will be in the video later on. There's a decent amount of rooms you can go into, not a whole lot because once again the ship is quite small. There is a few decks as well as of course the bridge that you can go into. Now you might think that the bridge has the sinking controls, but nope, you go up to the bow, press the button, and take a good look at that classic Half-Life 2 skybox which you're going to be seeing a lot of in this video. However, the ship will now start to sink. And thankfully, this is the better of the two sinking methods, which is the ship does actually go down. So there's a lot of things I have to base on where the spot is going to be, the sinking process, the ship, the features on the ship, the way it's built. This ship is pretty simple, it's, it's pretty small, so that definitely gave it low points in that regard. However, the sinking is pretty damn fantastic. I love the way this ship sinks, and it reminds me again of Acid's maps, which in my opinion sink the best. You also notice that the lights go out, and then it just kind of wiggles its way down into the ocean, eventually laying at rest. Once it is at rest though, you can go into a map that will show what it looks like after years of being on the sea floor. I love when they add these resting maps where you can see like what could have happened after many years. And this definitely has it, so that puts it at number nine. Going on to number eight, we have, <laughs> what do you know, the Royal Pilgrim. Now I hate putting any of Acid's maps this low just because I think that they are the best sinking ships in the game. However, this is a very, 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 very basic map. There's not a whole lot of rooms you can go into. There is a few decks that are included, so you have that verticality, but a lot of the doors you can't really enter, and that's just really unfortunate. There's nothing really to this map except for, of course, the sinking function, which, thankfully, it does very well, and that's what puts it at number eight, because the sinking looks fantastic. Obviously, no one does it better than acid, and I know the main point of a sinking ship is the fact that it sinks, but I think that it should be more than just an object that goes underwater. Like, that would be boring if that was the case. It's fun to see different ways that they implement features into the map, as well as the sinking process. And in this case, it's pretty simple. But after a good while, you'll see that the decks are slowly being submerged. And eventually, on this map, the lights will go out, which is a really cool touch. And once again, kills me that I had to put it at number 8, but... This was a really tough list to make, I'm gonna be honest. Eventually though, it does go down. But the cool thing about this map is just like the last map we took a look at, it has a resting map, so you can go down and explore the vast expanse of the ocean and the remains of the Royal Pilgrim. 
Next up, we have another similar map to Acids, and that is the RMS Holland. This is a ship that is pretty big, and it's kind of comparable to the Honorable. Um, however, I can't tell if it's any bigger or smaller. I think it is actually quite a bit bigger, in fact. But the thing about the map that I noticed is, well, besides the massive beds, it's a pretty good size to do whatever you want on. However, there's not a whole lot of rooms you can really go into once again. More than, of course, the last few maps. But now that we're going up into the tiers, we really need something that really kicks it up a notch. Because there's a lot of great ships in this video. However, once you do initiate the sinking process, you'll see that it does start sinking bow first, which is pretty typical. You'll see some lights flickering here and there. It doesn't take too long for the ship to start finally going down. But eventually, when it does go down, but eventually the bow will go beneath the waves and once that happens, everything starts to accelerate until eventually one of the funnels snaps in half. What an amazing addition. And then eventually the second one goes down with it and then the final resting spot of the ship has taken place. Which once again, you can visit in a resting map where you can see the dilapidated structure resting at the bottom of the ocean. Just beautiful. Once again, love these maps. It gives you some good insight on what could have been. And there's only one more map in this video that does include this. So it makes me sad that more maps don't include this, but still a really cool feature. And it was hard to put the Holland in this spot because the sinking was so good. In fact, I'd say it was probably top three sinking, but I have to rate these maps on more than just the way it sinks. Next up, we have the Borealis. We know the Borealis is a legendary ship, of course, from the Half-Life games, and this is a sinkable version of the ship, which is pretty dang neat. I don't know if I've ever taken a look at this one. In fact, there's gonna be a few maps that I've never even done a video on, so pretty exciting to see that, but the standout feature for this map and why it beats out the other three is because of all of the rooms you get to explore that's something that is desperately missing in a lot of these maps is that there's not a whole lot of rooms you can really check out but this has a bunch a bunch of awesome stuff in fact it might even be its own map that might even be where it's derived from there's a cargo room a bunch of different other rooms there's even a padded safety room for whatever reason in case you got crazy people on board but overall even though it's not the biggest ship it's jam-packed with rooms. I can't get over that. That's the standout feature for this map. It might be the most dense ship on this entire video, but you're gonna have to see to make sure. Once you go into the bridge though, activate the button and the sinking initiates. You'll start to see the lower rooms eventually fill up with water. Now the sinking of this ship starts out a little slow, but definitely does start to pick up the pace. Because it's not the largest ship, it will go down pretty dang quick. You can see it goes down bow side first like most ships, tilting towards the starboard side until eventually it is submerged entirely. And this sinks in the best way possible, of course, by having it go under the water and not having the water come up. But overall, that's the Borealis, a great, great ship map and definitely deserves its spot at number six. All right, boys, number five. This is where it's gonna get really, really difficult for me. We have the Ropax. Now, the Ropax has a lot of issues with it. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you literally go even a little bit over the rails of the ship, you're outside of the map. So, it's hard to see what's going on. However, it does create this really beautiful looking design that the ship is actually moving through the ocean. So, it does create this great illusion. And the ship is a treat to explore. This is a massive ship with a huge cargo hold that even has some vehicles. There's even a bunch of really cool little Easter eggs like a head crab or a bunch of them. <laughs> Once you go down to zero deck, you'll find the sump drainage valve. Pulling that will initiate the sinking process. You'll see the water slowly rise from the bottom and then you have to make your way all the way back up to the top decks. Now this might be one of the funnest parts of the map is trying to just escape the water going up all the different decks. However, it was kind of frustrating for me and it's really bad to showcase the map, so I decided to move around a bit. The bow is expertly created, and if you look off into the distance, you can even see another ship, which is gonna play a very important part. The thing I liked about this was all the different little things. There's little Easter eggs thrown in. There's a lot of care and heart put into this map, as well as a bunch of different rooms. But the sinking kind of falls flat. Why? 
because the water is coming up and the ship isn't going down. That is really unfortunate, once again, not my favorite way for a ship to sink. I like actually having the ship go down, but I know that's also more difficult. However, you'll see that ship that was far away actually does pass us, and it just kind of goes on its own way. Doesn't even stop to help us. But also, if you look down, you can see the obvious cutoff line of where the map ends, and this black bar kind of raising in the back, it it looks really bad. I am not a fan of the way this sinks, and that single-handedly put it at number five. Next up at number four, we have the RMS Honorable, the second largest of acid ships, and this is an absolute beaut. But unfortunately, it is held back by a few things. So it's not the biggest ship, but it is well designed for what it is. You'd think a ship this size would have a lot of rooms, and it does, but you can't enter a lot of them. That's something that I thought was a huge disappointment. There's really only a few rooms you can go in. I went through the entire map in no clip, and I couldn't really find a lot of rooms that you could really check out. And that, in my opinion, was just a bit of a disappointment, but still a great map. And the thing that saves this is the amazing sinking method. This looks phenomenal when it goes down. And the really standout thing about this is it sinks stern first. It's the only ship in this whole video out of these 10 ships that actually sinks stern first instead of the bow. Eventually though, when it does go down, once the stern goes below the water, it will start to accelerate and then the lights will suddenly go out. Now, once again, if you're on this map and you're going through this real time, it really is an awesome experience to watch the ship just go down and then the lights just go and then it's like, oh shit, what am I gonna do now? <laughs> Overall, a very good ship, and this is the last ship in the video that has its own resting map, where you can go to the bottom of the wreck and check out the wreck for yourself, where it's been dilapidated, it's corroded over time, and overall just has a nice aesthetic look to it. All right, at number three, we have Titanic Adventure. This is one of the newer maps. In fact, this is the last sinking ship map I did, and it's, of course, the Titanic. There's even the poster and everything. Overall, in terms of the design, it looks like the Titanic, but there's a big, big issue. There's a few. One, the ship is floating. It's not even in the water. There's no propellers, and the fourth funnel is shooting smoke. It's supposed to be a dummy funnel, of course. That's a huge disappointment. Also, it's held back because you can only go and explore a few of the decks. It is saved by the fact that there is the grand staircase, I mean, it, it better. But other than that, there's not a lot of rooms. In fact, most of this ship is empty space, which was a huge disappointment. That literally was gonna make me put it at number six or seven or even eight. But there's one thing that really saved it for me, and that is the way that it sinks. So initiating the sink, you will see that it goes down a bit, but then it starts going forward. And this is the only ship that sinks while moving forward. All the other ships just stay in place, but this has a more gradual design to it, which I thought was really cool. Eventually, it will start making its way down and down and down until eventually the bow touches the water. At that point, it will now start to go at a more severe angle. Are you ready to see why this is number three? Once you get to about the halfway point, the ship splits in half. And my god, does it look badass. There's one more ship that does that, by the way. However, big, big no-no that there's still power. That is a huge uh to me. But the way that the bow hangs on, pulls the stern upright, and then eventually goes down, is very true to the film and to the way that it actually did sink. However, something strange happens near the stern section. Once the stern goes upright, the water instead comes up. So this is also the only map that uses both methods of sinking. But once again, it's number three because of the way it sinks. All right, so I know a lot of you are gonna disagree with this. Number two is GM Ship. Now you might think, wait, what? This thing doesn't even have a name. In fact, in my video I did on it, I called it the Gladiator because I had to come up with some random name because, I mean, what am I gonna do a video on GM Ship? It's just weird. So this one is, well, it's interesting. There's a lot of really cool things to explore. That, in my opinion, is a huge deal. Thankfully, though, each of these maps has something going forward. This one has a lot of decks. At the bottom deck, there's even a ballast section where you can go to where the ballast or the water storage is 
and it it just it's so cool to have that because I've always wanted to see what that looks like and look at all of these rooms you can explore this ship has probably the most rooms in terms of explorable areas inside the ship but there's also a cargo hold that is massive and you can open this up both at the front and back and if you want you can just drive your vehicles out right into the ocean and explore in terms of design and exploration this is probably my favorite ship because of all the areas that you can check out as well as just the glass design the fact that you can go on the outside of the ship and look into every single one of the rooms it just looks absolutely gorgeous now unfortunately getting it to sink is a bit annoying some say you just have to wait five minutes but what i found is if you go off into the skybox there's a little room you can go into where you can turn on a button that does start the sinking process now there's one very unfortunate thing with this map it sinks fast like holy shit fast i didn't even have to set a time scale for this and there's also something bad unfortunately the water rises that is just really unfortunate but of course with a map this complex i mean look at this thing it's like a mini city pretty much and going down, you'll see there's two <laughs> layers of water, which just looks silly to me. So, yeah, not, um, not the best sinking. In fact, probably one of the worst sinking. But the fact that it's a cool ship you can explore that also sinks really saves it and makes it number two. And, I mean, what did you guess? Number one is the RMS Valiant, the best sinking ship with the best of everything. It's got a decent amount of rooms you can explore. Not the most, but a nice amount a beautiful design and has the best sinking method with the fact that of course it goes down instead of the water coming up and the best part is the sinking is a nice slow gradual process it's probably the most natural feeling sinking of any ship and of course as you watch this thing go down once again this takes like 20 minutes to sink it really is a long drawn out process but that just makes the experience better i hate a ship that sinks too fast However, eventually the water will start to go into each of the decks and it'll start to progressively get faster. Once you get to a certain point, the power will go out. And yes, you guessed it, the ship splits in half. And man, does it look good. This is the best sinking of any of the ships. That alone would make it number one. But at the same time, there are ships that have more rooms. But this ship overall has a great design, it's large, has a nice amount of rooms. The only thing I could really ask for is if it had a wreckage map. But it goes down pretty quick once it splits, and you can see it now resting at the bottom. And that is going to be the end, guys. That was my top 10 of the Sinking Ship videos. Let me know your top 10 and which ones you like more or which ones you disagree with in my video. Overall, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, you know the deal. Links down below. I'll see you in the next video, and until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.